Alright guys, welcome back to my walkthrough of Soul Calibur 6. This is going to be the next part. Now if you saw the last part, I was as well. Um, and it, in order to play as well, you have to be Grow and you have to, um, have to do all of Grow Story Mode to unlock as well. Um, so now in this one, I gotta be Ivy. And I guess in order to play as Cervante, I have to beat Ivy's thing. So uh, yeah, let's get to it guys. Everyone, the fall of the Valentine's 1584 AD. Though born to the noble house of Valentine, the young lady knew not only good fortune, but also despair. Her father delved into alchemy in search of the key to eternal youth, Soul Edge, but found oh, only Cervantes madness and answer. death. As a result, their house met with ruin. Her mother, before being consumed by a terrible illness, revealed to her they were not related by blood. Even so, the young lady's love for her parents was unfaltering. Following in the footsteps of her father, she devoted her life to alchemy and eventually found herself faced with the truth about Soul Edge. Hey. Alright. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This can't be Soul Edge. This evil thing, this is what drove my father to madness? Soul Edge, such a thing does not belong in this world. On my family's name, I vow to destroy it by my own hands. If Soul Edge is indeed the strongest weapon of all, I shall need to obtain an even stronger weapon with which to destroy Bubbles. it. I know exactly what I need. A shape-shifting blade, both sword and whip, that obeys my will. That is the answer. But how? Ooh. Damn, I refuse to give up. What in the world? I, Cross of the Pledge, shall confer upon thee the point in the escutcheon of destruction, Dexter Perpure. It's alive! Did I succeed? Yes, Dexter Perpure. Wait, who are you? The time will come. It is inevitable. Just you wait, Soul Edge. With this sword, all shall be carved to pieces. Ivy 2, Secret of Soul Edge. Ivy set out on a long journey in search of Soul Edge and the mysterious being who had breathed life into her beloved sword. Along the way, she encountered many people, including another who sought Soul Edge. Oh boy, who's it gonna be? You must be that Tomina. woman in the West who's searching for Soul Edge. Hmm. What if I am? Who are you to insult the Sword of Salvation? The Sword of Salvation? <laughs> Aren't you adorable? Let me give you some advice. If you really know nothing, then it's best you turn back now, little girl. Don't treat me like a child! Let's see how your sword fares oh against boy. me! Look at the move set. Let's see. Oh.
Fighting will only end in the same result. You're too weak. Farewell. Hey! Get back here! Nope. So, I'm not the only one looking yeah, for Yeah, Ivy. Aid. Everyone else is looking for a soul edge because they want power. I'm sorry, I'm playing so Cal for six. Hmm. No, no, because everyone in every every Soul Calibur game I play, everyone's looking for Soul Edge to either destroy it or want it for their its power. And like, hmm, right. Okay, so Ivy three face to face with the Azure Knight. Her seemingly never-ending journey led to her to Ostrensburg and the benefactor she was searching for, Nightmare. The azure armor he wore covered him from head to toe, leaving only his mutated arm exposed. Though unable to hide her curiosity at sight, Ivy knew she had to repay her debt. Alright, let's go. What's going on with the sword? What bothers you? Is it my appearance? Do I remind you of a yes, demon? Yes, Nightmare, you are a demon. You're a scary son no, of a bitch. I would shake hands with a demon if it aided me in my revenge. I intend to pay my debts. Is that so? In that case, Dexter the Pure, I shall require your assistance. My will shall be done. Oh, this doesn't look good. Name does not sit well. I have to fight Nightmare? Mm -mm. Alright. Harvester of Souls. Nightmare told Ivy of his wish to return to his father's soul to this world through the art of resurrection. 
Nothing about the situation appeared normal. To make matters worse, she found something that technically uncouth about the other companion with whom she would be working, a hulking giant by the name of Astaroth. Oh boy. Astaroth. <laughs> Look at you! Fleeing for your lives! Escape is futile! <laughs> Impetuous fool! Soul harvesting? Don't make me laugh. Give up! Hmm. So was I being the bad guy? I don't understand. Oh well. Ow! Submit! Ow! Stand Just stand down, cousin. Enslave! Enslave! What do you mean, whoa? Hey! Why'd you let him go? You kill too much. We have enough for now. Does it matter? There are plenty of them! And resurrection requires many more. Let me put my feet down my music. Even so, you should show restraint. I am not here to assist you in a massacre. Defeat Astroth, defeat the big guy. Alright. Alright, Ivy 5, the power of resurrection. Ivy understood all too well the pain of losing a father by massacring people and harvesting their souls to bring someone back with something she couldn't countenance. Countenance. Her anguish ran deep. Alchemists have strived to achieve resurrection, but to no avail. All this is to bring your father back. But could it all really be so simple? His words have no ring of truth to them. More souls! I must have more souls! Sorry. Why does that fiend have such an unquenchable thirst? I'm done. I cannot go on like this. Ivy 6, The Hidden Truth. Ivy decided to part ways with Nightmare and company. However, Astaroth wasn't simply about to watch in silence as she cut ties with them. Oh boy, Astaroth is going nuts. And where are you going? I'm fed up with your methods. It's as simple as that. And I have my own purpose. Your own purpose? You fool. The soul edge you search for has been in front of you all this time. While I admit his sword does emanate an unusual aura, it would be pointless for him to keep me so close. He knows I seek to destroy soul edge. So naive. <laughs> I suggest you wipe that smile off your face. Yeah, Ashroth. Or would you prefer me to wipe Beat it off you for you? Exum wench! You'll see. As of right now, you're on my Ooh. list of souls to harvest. Oh boy. Ow, what the? 
Seven cursed bloodline, racked by inexpressible anxiety, Ivy decided to ask Nightmare himself for the truth. But the closer she got to his living quarters, the more anxious she became until it was written all over her face. Oh boy, what truth is she gonna know? Hello. Nightmare. So Don't mind me. I'm just playing so Calibri Six. I wouldn't if I What's were talking? you. You can't win in your present state. Out of my way! I don't care who you are, but perhaps you could share with me what you know. This blade contains a fragment of Soul Edge. It is reacting violently to your weapon. And to you. You seek the truth, but perhaps you already know it. Daughter of the Cursed Sword. No! That's not possible! Uh... I'll play after, like, another story, uh, Soul Chronicle of Soul Calibur. Battle 1! Fight! What? Daughter of the Cursed Sword! It's the truth. Accepted. Oh my god, I can't even- Oh my god, I can't even hit talking right now. Okay. Counter-strike. I don't think so. Boom. Oh, that's a that was a long uh, defeat yell. Yeah. 
Way with it. I can attack with the sword. Escape is futile. Not good enough. Ow, wait a minute. Ow, wait a minute. Hockey. Let's talk about this for a second. Okay. I de oh, I almost defeated an enemy. You leave me no choice. Submit! Ow! 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 Okay, I'm getting used to this You know nothing! You have strength. Strength that comes from evil. Get away from me! It's up to you whether you believe me or not. But I've fought one who wielded the cursed sword before. Do not take me for a fool. That eldritch aura that envelops you. If I closed my eyes, I'd believe it was Cervantes himself. Think, who is your real father? You're lying! So long. I refuse to believe it until I see it for myself. Right. Nightmare. Damn you. Well, Ivy's gonna have to fight Nightmare to see what's going on. Bubbles? I'll pay you in I never crossed paths with Nightmare. It appears someone defeated the Azure Knight. As for what happened to Soul Edge, I know not. It's possible the one who vanquished Nightmare has it. Or it could have been destroyed. Still, I feel it. A terrible evil calls out to me from somewhere in the world. Yes, I have accepted my fate. I am daughter to the Cursed Sword, the heir of an accursed lineage. So I have made a vow. A vow to obliterate the cursed sword and rid my own blade of evil. That is the sole purpose for which I now live. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. All right, so that is it with Ivy. And of course, look, look at that. I unlocked Cervante. So uh, I'll do Cervante in the next part. So we went through Ivy's part uh, where we found out who she is or the Cursed Bullen or whatever. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for uh, Cervante's part of Soul Calibur 6. So uh, if you're watching this, if you like how I did Ivy's part of the Soul Chronicle, you can hit the like button, comment below on who your favorite character is or... Like, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. And, of course, don't troll or no negativity, please. And uh, subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to all my amazing game content. This has been Lee Type Gaming. Peace out.